This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Go. It's time for our second match of the day between Zagreb Sokol and the Warriors. Of course, the Warriors coming off a big defeat in the previous game against the Assassin, beaten by 103 runs. That was quite a drubbing for them. Here we go. First time we get to see Sokol with the bat in hand. Oh, it's a poor delivery. Really poor delivery to start off. Gets that one badly wrong. Got to deal with it. Really nice shot over the leg side. And this will be a boundary. Four runs for Mansour, who just flicks this one off the hips, really. Pulled, pulled firmly. And this one is up, up, and away. And six runs gets over the head of the fielder as that one will go towards the boundary and over the top. Six runs, and it's a Maximo to get us underway. First one of, the, uh, of this fixture. No, he needed that. He really did need that. Uh, Sagan Manzuri has just been a little too slow throughout his innings. And yeah, Robin Sharma just dropping that one a bit too short. Needs a response, doesn't he? Man, doesn't really get it this time. Over back with a square boundary yet again. So six and four. Manzor hungry for more. Short and launched into the onside. Has he got enough power as he has height? Yes, he has. Six more again. It's not the first time he's gone there. The first time was so good he had to do it twice. And the second time was even better. Six more yet again. Yeah, a couple of sixes hit through that region. He's a good puller of the ball. Can't afford to drop it short to him. Really nicked it, looked the ball quite full. Oh, and again, tries to take it on downtown. Should, oh, there's nobody there, in fact. We'll get four. And, well, the field very, very wide at, uh, at long on and that's not ideal so four runs four runs tight bowling out of the economy of just under nine and picked up four wickets as well this is struck out towards cover oh. and it's going to pierce the gap and go away for four runs could the two fielders have done a little bit better there yeah well i'm not on on friday so i get i miss out on a, on a peacock friday this one is six runs into the scorer's tent and it's on the old crossbar challenge and uh, that'll be six more and this over just well unfortunately not quite going the best of ways at the moment. Yeah, let's just have a look at the height on this one. And, ooh, well, maybe just dipping below the waist there. That one's really tight. really is uh, struggling. I mean, this over is just taking an age. I mean, we still haven't seen. It's just, it's just chocolate. <laughs> oh, and again, goes for it and gets it. Uh, it's going to be a couple of bounces, I think. Four runs, it will be. And the over's gone for 17 off just the four legal deliveries. It's weird. I haven't tried it just yet, but yeah, when it was weird, it came over. It did feel more like melted chocolate rather than hot chocolate. This one's going up in the air and, yeah, just over the boundary rope. Just about gets that one away for a six. What is this field, though, Nish? They've got no long off. Long on, sorry. They've got a, a, a very wide, very wide, pretty much mid-wicket. Then they've got a deep mid-wicket at Cow Corner and there's no one at long off. Oh, this one is thumped. Going to have to hold your horses. That's going to be one bounce for, well, a bit of a loose delivery to finish it, but still a very tidy over nonetheless. There's been so much going on. Well, speaking of going on, this one is going up, up and away. Launch six more. No point putting fielders there because they wouldn't be involved in the game. Lovely shot from Hashmi. Beautiful pickup. And uh, oh, Asti gets taken to the cleaners early on. You know, what a brilliant shot. Absolutely top bit of career. Good use of the feet. And he has absolutely crunched that one away for six runs in general about oh, Corey's right. views on Peacock Friday. Hang on a second. Up in the air. Has he got enough on this one? Yes, he does. Six runs and a glorious half century for Manzor. It's his first on the European Cricket Network and it's been a great one to witness as he's played a beautiful, beautiful innings here. Pretty much only gave away one chance and that was just three runs ago. But an excellent way to bring up your first ever Half central the network. The over pitch delivery there, and a Westy gets punished for it. Straight down the ground, straight back to live action. We're going to have a back to back sixes here by Munzur. So he celebrates bringing up his half century with another six. Another terrific stroke by him. Just over pitching it a little bit here, Wasti. And he's getting punished for it. Thank you, pardon. This is Narin Chandra. Yeah, Chandra just love a wicket, though, with the Warriors. Well, this could be one here, maybe. Chance. And there you go. And, uh, well, you call for it, and you will receive. 
And that will be the end of Hashmi Hugo's for 28. Excellent catch, though, to be fair, by Sandeep Singh over, the, over his shoulder. Not an easy catch whatsoever. But the outside edge flies away, but not enough. And that will be the end of a very, very positive opening stand worth 108. It's 108 for one. Oh, look at the way he was spinning and pirouetting around, but going to that ball. You never thought he was actually going to catch that, but somehow he ends up in the right position and holds on to that catch. Wow. Oh, swing and a miss. They are going to have to take on the single, and he's going to be gone. And the old, uh, the old th underarm throw from... Bosniak works. It's not the first time we've seen him get a wicket in that method so far. But a very good innings will come to an end. He gets run out, does Mansoor. But a very, very good bit of work from him. 62 off 40, to be quite fair. And uh, that's an excellent bit of uh, work from the keeper to hold his nerve. And that is going to be another wicket that falls 112 for two. And it's in the slot, takes it on and gets it. Six runs. And that's a glorious way to start off with evasive action being taken in the dugouts. But that one has been hit beautifully out of the middle. Yeah, smacked away for uh, six runs. Yeah, an incredible strike there. Forum hit. Yeah, it is, of course, Haider Usama who is on strike. Who Last ball then coming up of the, uh, of the innings. Oh, it's going to be a dot to finish. Uh, it's a good little comeback from Awasti. Uatsi only goes for eight runs off the last over, which is mightily impressive. And they don't get to that 120. They fall just too short. Do Sokol. They'll get to 118 for two. Welcome back for the second innings. And, well, big challenge up ahead for the Warriors. They've got to chase a target of 119. Yeah, so many great cities here in Croatia, of course. Uh, some of you guys mentioning uh, Dubrovnik. We've also got Split and, of course, Osijek out as well. A lot closer towards Hungary. This one is just pushed towards cover, and that's going to be a top. Only had a chance to work with a... A great crew from Osijek back in a European cricket series uh, in Cyprus, uh, apparently. <laughs> Maybe. Well, this has gone high in the air. Good luck. If he catches this, I, I quit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, he doesn't catch it. Goes for six. That goes for six, I think. That's going to go for six. He's taken it, but it goes for six. I almost has to. I almost lost my job. <laughs> he almost did. I was just worried for you for a minute. And <laughs> oh, off. he did so well. Oh, what could have been? Stop keeping the strike. Well, this is a top edge, and this one is probably going to be taken. And will be, eventually. So it's going to be a four, five-ball duck, in fact, for Sharma. And that's going to be a, a disappointing way to go. He cops one on the chest, and well, this one was a sky up. And the keeper behind the stumps, Rashid Hajmi, made no mistake. It slightly got away from him, but I have to say, I've been very impressed with him behind the stumps thus far. But it's a long old duck for the likes of Sharma. He goes, and the Warriors lose their first wicket. 11 for one. A huge, huge issue. A lowish full toss. Uh, this is played away for four runs. Good shot there by Singh. Goes for the Yorker there, Shen Mugum. Doesn't miss it by much. Uh, this one is up in the air, but gets through. And this will be a boundary again to finish. I think this might be four. They just want to double check if this has gone all the way or not. They do have a number of batters who are yeah. technically very proper. Uh, this one up in the air. Could be another chance here. And he's not going to put this down, so it's going to be another catch. As uh, This is Osama with his second delivery, takes a wicket. And it's Singh, who again goes for less than run a runner ball here. And he just it's just not working for the Warriors. They've got to start to look to change things up. Because, well, the saying is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But it's broke. It's shattered into a million pieces at the moment for the Warriors. They haven't picked up a victory in 16 fixtures on the network. It looks as if they're going to stare down to a 17th defeat in a row. Another one bites the dust. 21 for two. Can he get a few here? Well, he's going to try to. Has he got enough on this one? No, he hasn't. It's an excellent catch down at deep third. And that's going to be two in two. And Osama is going to be on with a chance of a hat trick here. It's a golden quacker for Magdalenic. As this one, just the top edge, flies away. And it's two in two. And this is a great grab. And you can see they're all waiting in suspense. But it's a superb catch down out there in the deep. The extra bit of bounce there, just catches the top edge along the way. Really well taken out at deep third as Golden Derek 
comes waddling out. Sorry sight for any batter. Another wicket falls when we were there. Carved away, and this will get over the infield and race away. Four runs, a welcome boundary. And uh, yeah, that one will one of the best stake places you'll ever go to. Up in the air. Good luck. Oh, makes no mistake. That's a great catch. It really is from a man. He's a tall man. He's a man, Maheshwari. But he makes no mistake as the skipper. Another one will bite the dust. It's Kumar, who again goes uh, once more. Another batter comes and goes for the Warriors and goes at less than run a ball. Just watch how much ground he has to make up here. You can see him on the left of your screens here, folks. Not walking in, not quite doing the basics, but nevertheless, gets a good re reaction time, covers a good bit of ground. He's a tall man. Thank you very much for coming. 36 for four now, down after seven. And let's get someone else out there. Might get one or two out of the screws. Never mind, don't need to retire him because he's bold. And Bulapante will pick up a wicket. And Bosniak, he had a good day behind the stumps, unfortunately. Couldn't quite continue with the bat. He's a well-liked character in these parts. He's uh, always a happy chap, but uh, he won't be happy about this one as his, uh, his off peg is absolutely castled uh, it's going to be another wicket that falls five down now 36 for five yeah to be fair he's done by a really good ball over there I mean, that one just angling in strains a little bit and clatters onto his off stump a sunday flight so oh well, what a ball well you say what a ball but this is the this is the one that misbehaves this is pretty much bounced halfway up the wicket and it's barely got above the ankles of the skipper and Owasti. Watch this one here. Oh, it's horror. It's uh, it's not great to watch. It's really, as a batter, you sort of wince at this one. It's a batter's nightmare. But a bowler's paradise. And it's going to be the sixth wicket to fall as Owasti goes for a couple of ball duck. There was a good few months and a couple of years where he couldn't get in. That's another one that's going to be bowls as the stumps are getting castled time and time again. Khan this time will go. And it's now 37 for 7. And this is, uh, well, it's a collapse of all collapses, realistically, for the Warriors. Yeah, they got a chance. It could get skittled here and balled out. It goes with a big shot. And ends up completely missing that ball. It crashes onto his off stump. So, well, this could get painful. They could even get the wooden spoon of getting balled out over here. Not whatsoever. This one is up in the air. Could be a chance. And it's taken. I have to say, credit to Sokolt. They've been very good. And they've taken their catches. They've bowled full and straight. And Osama picks up another three for him now. And it's 38 for uh, for eight here. Uh, as unfortunately, that's going to be the end of Griffard, who goes for one. Well, let's see if they can grab another couple of wickets here. And, uh, and of course, you got five deliveries left. Mohamed Rifad will depart. Does go fuller. And oh, this almost gets through everything. And it does, in fact. That will be some buys. It'll be four buys, in fact. And again, another version of the pitch misbehaving. It has to come down to personal milestones. Just simple goals they have to set for themselves. Yep. Last ball, and this is taken off. <laughs> it's a great, great take behind the stops. It's done superbly well, but that will be the end of it. It'll be 44 for eight is what the Warriors will finish. It's been a very tricky morning for them.